Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill with this WBZ News Update. Our top story is today. The suspect in a double murder in Jamaica Plain is due in court today. Police arrested 28-year-old Wilvin Giddy over the weekend. He's facing murder charges in the May 4 shooting deaths of 23-year-old Christopher Joyce and 58-year-old Claiborne Blair. Police say both were innocent bystanders. Six people were hurt when an SUV slammed into an MBTA bus in Saugus. It happened on Essex Street yesterday. Transit police say the woman driving the SUV may have hit a parked car, causing her to veer into the bus's lane. The bus driver and four passengers suffered minor injuries. The SUV driver is being treated for serious injuries. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos will headline a Republican fundraising dinner in New Hampshire today. Her visit comes just days after the State House killed a bill that would have let parents use state education money for private or even homeschooling. DeVos is an outspoken supporter of school choice. Let's get a check of your Monday forecast now with Danielle. Danielle? Hi, Kate. So the temperatures today are going to rebound. A lot of our highs won't be reached until late this afternoon, even early this evening in Boston as the sun breaks out more and more today. We climb well into the 70s, right around 70 at the coast. Dry weather today, increasing clouds and patchy fog tonight, falling back into the 50s. Tomorrow, summer warmth. Humidity, too. It's going to turn a little bit sticky. Highs are going to be up around 80 degrees, but there'll be some scattered thunderstorms around. Mid-morning tomorrow, we may see one or two isolated storms. That's the humidity pushing in. Then the sun breaks out. That helps to fuel some of the instability tomorrow afternoon. So anytime after 1, 2 o'clock, notice across central New Hampshire, southern Vermont, some storms start to pop, and a few of these storms could become strong to severe tomorrow mid to late afternoon, especially north and west of Boston here. Heavy downpours, lightning in any storms that develop, and perhaps some brief damaging wind gusts as these all blow through, you notice, during the late afternoon and evening hours. They should weaken as they come into far eastern Massachusetts once the sun sets, but we're going to watch that threat closely tomorrow. It's the leading edge of cooler air, too. Big change on Wednesday. We don't get out of the 50s, back into the 70s, though, Kate, by the time we get to Thursday. All right, Danielle, thank you. Thanks for watching. I'm Kate Merrill. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.